Hey guys, welcome back to more of the B movie. We're gonna do more of the story mission. Mortgage, I'm telling you, you've got to take some responsibility. Stand up, be a man. What your father is saying, sweetheart. I don't need you to translate. I'm speaking the Queen Bee's English, aren't I? We only want what's best for you. No, we don't. We want you to get a job, get married, and move out. Check out the new game in the arcade. I love it here, Barry. It's really nice to just sit outside and hang out, you know? Bees aren't much for hanging out. We're a little more goal-oriented. Well, maybe hanging out should be your goal. Well, you probably don't have much time for that, being a florist. It hardly seems like work. I feel bad sometimes taking people's money for doing something I love. To spend my days surrounded by beauty. Well, this guy needs a touch-up. One touch-up coming up. It'd be funny if he was just like, here comes the touch-up. <laughs> just all over. It appears that she may be turning into a bee, though. Her face was yellow and she's wearing a striped shirt. Uh, yeah. Also, she's being swarmed by attackers of the dragonfly or mosquito variety. Mosquitoes are the worst. Homing rocket inbound. Boom! I gotta do a B roll. Guy's laughing super maniacally. It's like he's a honey worker. B roll, man. B roll, man. B roll. Why? What the heck? Controls. B roll, man. Whoa. B roll. All right, turd. Target down, target down. Did I get them all? Oh, it was gonna keep coming, I think. I'm not sure, but it really looks like they're just keeping on coming. Okay, I'll do this then. Lady, you're just watching this go down? I'm under attack. Well, she doesn't want to hurt any of them. Why do their lives have any less value than your life? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Greatest quote from the movie. I can't believe you would say that. Now she's leaving Barry Bubens for a dragonfly. Or a mosquito. You couldn't live with a mosquito, those bloodsuckers. They'd drain you dry. Something over by the lamppost. Maybe that's how you kill them. Like a big green circle on the lamppost over there. It's like the annoyance meter. Hold on, I gotta get... Oh, that's what I want. Wait, where's the blue thing? Across the street on oh, the... I gotta get the oh, blue, blue thing. thing? Um, right here. I gotta get right this there. really quick. There. I gotta look for blue things. There's another one right oh. next to you. Oh. They were stacked. Alright, we are done in this area. On that light post across the street, there was like the screen circle for like the annoyance meters on that other level. Oh. Like the big circle that I gotta spin around in? Yeah, so I was wondering if that would turn on and if it would attract all the bugs. We can check in a second. I need to get more juice though. Oh, I forgot I have this vision as well. This doesn't really help though. No, honestly, it just makes the movie into the bee predator. And why wouldn't you want that? Because that's old technology. So I don't need it anymore. And it's really hard to see. Yeah, it does make everything really blurry. Wait, I can get more over here? Where? There we go. I might as well get it all over here because no one's attacking me over here. Nice and peaceful. Like a picnic in the park. Do you think any of the bees have pollen allergies? Oh, that would suck. 
I don't think insects can have allergies, though. I think that's a human thing. Or, like, a dog or a cat thing. Like, your brain needs to be bigger for that sort of thing. Are you saying their lives have less value than yours? Well, just think about it this way, Ethan. What if a fish was allergic to water? People are allergic to water sometimes. A fish. Not people. A fish. It would die immediately? Exactly. So it can't happen. Alright, we got a bunch of juice. We're gonna be juicing, man. They're above you. Incoming. Got one. This guy's just launching rockets, man. He's just pelting you. There's nothing you can do to escape. Well, I could go in here, I guess. New enemy type discovered. Fly. Let's get this nectar. The sweet nectar. Isn't it weird that the dragonflies are attacking the bees, though? It is kind of weird. You know what else is weird? Is it's basically just a food fight. Yeah. Except the pollen's explosive for some reason. That's what gives the yeah, that's what gives the explosive honey its kick. Explosive honey. Ooh, that's sweet! What an explosion in my mouth! See, before you refine the honey, it's a very unstable isotope and is extremely volatile. If it makes impact with anything, it will explode violently, leaving radiation that will not go away for decades to come and destroy an entire families. Wow. And here I just wanted a peanut butter and honey sandwich. You're launching nuclear honey missiles at small defenseless dragonflies that are definitely not attacking you first. Good old dragonflies. I don't even know what a dragonfly's purpose is, in all honesty. Yeah, what do they eat? I think they eat insects, but I don't know, like... They don't bite humans or anything, I don't think. I don't think so either. You can use them for fitching if you want. If you're a fitcherman. You can use lots of things for fitching. Such as plastic. That doesn't work. I mean, you'll have a couple nibbles maybe because they're curious. But they won't usually eat a hunk of plastic. Like, where are you fishing in the sewers? You can use rubber. You can use one entire uh, donut. Ethan's back, guys. See, when I fish... All logic goes out the window when he returns. <laughs> When I fish, what I've noticed works best is when you put a brand new spool of line on the end of your hook. Because the fish want to try fishing as well, so they grab onto the line. Oh, Barry, it's lovely out here now. This calls for something extra special. Attention, attention! Oh. All available units, the hive is under attack! Wasp forces are attacking! We need backup! I've gotta go. Wow, the game brought the romance to a whole nother level. Well, well, look who it is. Sorry to break up your little party, pal, but uh, we'll play with you. Get him, boys! Ah, you can't win, you know! That is a lot of wasps if you look on the mini-map there. So now it's like a turf war. This is like super weird. <laughs> I wonder if this happens in nature. Uh, the wasps are back. Get them, boys! Actually, when wasps attack a beehive, the bees have no way to defend themselves, so they just pile onto the wasp and vibrate very violently until the wasp overheats to death. They just really? all shake their wings really quickly and it heats the wasp up until it dies. Are you serious or no? Yeah, because their stingers can't penetrate the wasp. The uh, wasp hide is too thick. The, le the leathery skin of the wasp is too thick for the bees to sting. That's crazy. Knowledge with Ethan. He goes from illogical to actual knowledge. It's, it's the weirdest experience ever I know. Take cover! It's raining! It sure rains a lot around here. It's raining. Maybe I should go back to the hive. <laughs> Wait, I don't have my cool thing. I wanted to get in that. Oh. Oh, maybe it's a different button. I forgot which one it is. Oh, it's, it's this one, okay. My. B. <laughs> you okay? Your joke was so good, I'm dying. So you must die every day, every second. 
I've never stopped dying at any point in my life. You're welcome. Alright, we're underneath here. We should be good. I love that the rain is falling perfectly straight down and only in the exact same spots over and over. Ooh. Dude, I think it's a cool looking effect for this game. That is a cool looking effect. Oh, look at it through the flower. And... No, why did I get sucked into this? I guess I'm supposed to. That works. Yay. Vanessa! Man, where are you? Oh, Barry. You were wonderful. You've really inspired me, Barry. Just watch! Vanessa, you're flying! You're really flying! Vanessa! Wow. That escalated quickly. It's the end of the game. Where the heck did she get a flying machine from? Ah! Oh. Oh, it was a dream, a horrible, horrible, yet strangely adolescent dream. What a nightmare. Are you drawn to exciting career opportunities? Well, then apply as an operator at the Magnetic Crane and Hunting. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up for the B of the hour, Barry Benson. Let's see if we can get a new costume before we go. I'm I hoping for the wasp. I want to get the B Larry King costume. Oh, is that in here? They That'd don't be hilarious. Have one. We get the hornet. Wasn't there one? Wait, for... no, we can't. Is the wasp the last one? No, the dragonfly is pretty funny. Pollen jock's not bad. Can't afford any of these down here. The fly is by far the coolest. Yeah, but it's five times as much as we own. All right, let's get something. Uh... We could get an arcade game. Yeah, let's see how much that is first. It was twenty-five hundred, I think. Was it really? Okay. Where's the arcade? Arcade, arcade, arcade. Also, how many more missions do we have to do? Is that just the mission? Is that just the mission? I think that's just the mission. It's not the arcade, it's the B cave. Or no, the that's the garage. Cave. That's the garage if you wanted to buy a car. Oh. We could get a cool car instead. Nah, you can just hijack cars. Yeah, but that's B legal. <laughs> oh. Okay. We're going to the arcade. What's the H, I wonder? The hospital. Oh, we have to do six missions next time. Well, let's look look at the arcade really quick before. Oh, there's like a thing under the stairs there. Yeah, in this episode. Oh, the okay. H's. Yeah, what is this? Well. Welcome, Barry B. Benson, secret agent. Secret Agent B. Secret Agent B. You sting someone, you die, and we gotta train someone else. Oh, this is just the uh, facility. Cool. There's something over here, though. Yeah, it's like the, a glob. What's the chandelier? Hold on. Transport. Can I hijack one of these? Give me your honey! Transporting Stop. prisoners in the trucks. Give me your honey. Oh, I can't steal those. Alright. This one we'll have to do. The glob approaches. Whoa. Oh, I maybe mean, it's like the upper floor? Because we are right on the... Oh, no. Complex. I want to back up. Alright. You. Oh, for a second I thought that bee was bald. Not just wearing a hard hat. Big, bald, beautiful bee. That's a lot of bees, Barry. B -b 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 Bombo. We're going all the way to the tap. Tippy tap. Tippy tap of the hive. Whoop. Are we going to be a stirrer? Are we going to make our family proud? Oh, it's a job. Alright, let's just do this quick. We got a minute. And final to New Hive City. Be a part of the team that goes for the gold. Join up as a crane operator today and help us meet our quota. Another... The guy cut himself off or something. It's crane time. You crane time! You can't go wrong with this one, sir. You won't be sorry. Operating the crane is easy. Your left thumbstick is used to move it left and right. 
Align yourself to grab the canisters with the A button. We're on a tight schedule and traffic can get intense. Lose too many and you won't get your money. I thought the money is the honey. So what, if we don't pick them up, they just fall to their deaths? Yeah, it... Yeah, what happens? They just fall to their death, like you said? Mm -hmm. There was nobody operating this before. If they don't live through the workday, they don't have to get paid. If you have any, if you have any complaints, take it up with BR. Uh -huh. What is going on here? There we go. Gotta just press it just a smidgen earlier. Oh yeah. Alright, next time we gotta do five more jobs. We'll see you then.